So hi my YouTubers, um, I realized that I hadn't made a video in quite some time about my um, TTC and so I kind of decided that maybe I should give you guys like a little update. So um, excuse the face and the hair, just, I don't feel good, I haven't been feeling all that great um, quite some time so um, I'll move you over here. Anyway, so um, I got started on some prenatal vitamins. They're gummies, which are like so easy to take. You get them from Walmart. Um, they're in a big, like, clear bottle with a green lid. I don't know exactly what they're called, but I'll try to post them um, or show you in my next video. So last time I talked to you guys, I was having my, I was in my cycle. Um, so I finished that cycle out, and according to the charts online, um, I was supposed to ovulate on uh, February 19th. Well, because I am trying to conceive a girl, um, I had did the <laughs> the baby dance, as everybody's calling it. Um, I had done it a couple times through the week. I think it was like the Sunday before that, and I think it was like Tuesday. I know it was Valentine's Day, and then um, I did it Friday before I ovulated. Um, so, so yeah, um, Sunday came the 19th and I was kind of a little crampy and um, just stuff like that and I figured that I was ovulating and time went on and yada 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 and um, I, I'm to this point now which um, I have taken pregnancy tests, multiple pregnancy tests and they're all coming out negative. So, um, I'm not exactly sure what the issue is. Um, I kind of, I've kind of felt nauseous. I've, I've felt tired. Um, I've eaten a lot. I really haven't noticed, like, any changes in, like, my breasts. And I know through my past pregnancies, when I get pregnant, my breasts get really big. But the only issue is I can't remember exactly what time it is. I know when I got pregnant with the twins, I had noticed some change um, in my breast, and my mother-in-law was like, well, they could be growing. And I was like, yeah, that's definitely not it. I mean, yeah. Um, and I was pregnant. I didn't find out with them until I was like four weeks and something, but that was like via blood test. Um, and then when I was pregnant with Brody, I didn't find out that I was pregnant with him until I was almost two months along. Um, and then, like, after I found out I was pregnant, then I kind of noticed, like, you know, the breast changing and stuff like that. Um, but I really haven't noticed anything now other than, like, the little ducts around my areola seem a little bit bigger. But my boobs don't seem any bigger. Um, I can see the veins a little bit, um, which is definitely a little different from me, uh, or for me anyways, um... I kind of feel bloated, I kind of feel heavy, and then like when I was supposed to start my period, I felt like I was going to start. Um, my period was actually due on March 4th, um, according to the chart online. Um, it hasn't come. Today is Tuesday, um, the 7th? Nope. 6th? Yeah. Um, anyways, I took a pregnancy test Sunday. In the afternoon, it was negative. I took a pregnancy test today, negative. Um, the I'm only I'm kind of a little concerned about the test to be honest. It was a one step that I got from the dollar store because I was there picking up some stuff and um, I saw them and I was like, yeah, just give me one. <laughs> and when I took the test, I noticed that there was like a little light blue line going across the little circle window, and I thought, okay, well maybe you know with this test, and I could be right, and I'm just you know upset. Um, I could be right that when you take that test, you just have to wait for, like, one line in the circular window to kind of make the cross and the other line in the other window. Um, of course, never showed up, so it was negative. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's all negative. I still haven't started, um, my cycle, anything like that, so at this rate, like, I'm not sure what else to do other than, like, just wait. Because I don't want to keep on buying test after test. Like, I've taken probably, like, four tests out of this last, like, week. Um, so, I, I don't know. The only thing that I can think of is because I had all of 
the issues with like the birth control and stuff like that that maybe my cycle is just kind of thrown off and perhaps my period is supposed to start later than what I thought or maybe I'll ovulate it later than I was supposed to I just I have no idea so at this point like I, I don't know what to do other than wait to see if my period starts and then if it starts go from there and think about taking OPKs or if I should just go crazy and do the baby dance like every other day for a whole month um I don't know the, the only I really don't want to try to do the last one like doing it every other day for a month is because I am trying to conceive a girl and my luck I would try it on the day that I'm not supposed to and get another boy and uh, I'm not saying that I wouldn't I don't want that but I don't want that I mean if I had another little boy that's fine that's what God gave me but I really would like to try to have a little girl um so yeah I just haven't been feeling that good um I was, was kind of sick <coughs> move my camera around I was kind of sick and then I finally got over that and then it just seems like whatever's going on with me now has kind of like hit. Um, so honestly I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just, I'm late and yeah. But I mean I don't know, it's, it's, it's really weird like if I had my calendar from before after I started the birth control I could tell you like exactly how many days um, you know that I am like 28 or whatever. And I usually count 28, and then every now and then, like, I'm off one or two, so... But because my last one was so crazy because of the birth control, I, I don't know where I am right now. And I know you're supposed to wait, like, a month or two or even more to try because, yeah, to see how well your cycle does and blah, blah, blah. But I'm impatient. Most women are impatient. You can't tell me that you're not because, you know, I see all these little videos and stuff. And, like, my sister, she's pregnant, and, um... She was just like me, like, taking tests, like, all the time. She, excuse me, she took a test, um, she's, like, seven weeks now, but when she was trying to find out she was pregnant, she took a test, like, I think she said on Monday it was negative, and then she took another one on Wednesday, and it was positive. And I was kind of hoping for that same, um, yeah, that same idea, same point, you know what I mean? I took one Sunday, it was negative, and I was like, okay, well, I'll give it some time, see if it starts. Tuesday and nothing so I don't know I don't know what's going on I mean I, I could be pregnant and maybe it just happened later or maybe it's just not showing up I don't know but all I know is it's driving me absolutely insane but I'm not worrying about it like I'm not worrying myself sick about it it's just kind of like okay well when my period starts that's kind of like I, I can regroup so to speak so like every time I feel something I don't go run to the bathroom and be like oh my god is this it is this it Nothing like that. Um, I'm just going about my business. Just, you know, every now and then, like when I'm washing dishes or something, I'm like, God, it sure would be great if my period would start, you know, or if a test would come up positive. Sheesh. I mean, it's just like, I'd, I'd like to know something. Either I'm pregnant or I'm not. I need, I need to know something. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much just, like, what's been going on in the past couple of weeks. I have struggled with a little bit of, like, uh, am I ready for a baby? Uh, get another baby fit in this, you know, scenario. And so, I don't know. Right now, it's, it's just kind of like if, I, if I'm if i I'm thinking because, like, everything is just so messed up and everything and that I'm going to have my period, which, I mean, I may not, but that if we're, if we're really committed to having another child, then maybe we should just start kind of, we should be doing the baby dance <clears throat> more because honestly we didn't do it like that much we did it like three times <laughs> that's sad but um yeah maybe we should be you know maybe we should be committing to that part more and then maybe we should try to start like preparing a little bit better like maybe buying some stuff um just stuff like that but I really just don't want to buy stuff because I'm afraid that my I don't know that I'm just gonna if I if I don't achieve my goal that I'm gonna be really upset and just looking at all this stuff's gonna be like it's gonna be too hard so I don't know um I don't know yet so I don't know what I'm gonna do so yeah anyways but um that's kind of sort of what's been going on um sorry I look a mess and I sound horrible and this video is probably like really late but um, nothing yet. If I do happen to turn up pregnant, then you guys will be 
um, well, I should say like third to know because first, of course, would be, you know, daddy. And then second would definitely be my sister just because, you know, she's been with me through this whole thing and I've been with her through hers and yes, but you guys will know soon. Um, so let's just keep our fingers crossed that it actually worked and I'm just late because of that and these tests are all crap. <laughs> or if you have any good tests to recommend, go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, I guess I will keep you guys updated and I will talk to you guys soon.